students who are enrolled in a one semester extracurricular activity, and the school says, no, you've got to be in class at my school the entire year. And if you don't go the whole year, then I'm not going to let you participate the next year in, in the activity. And the whole spirit of the law was that while they were participating in the activity, they would be enrolled in a class. But if they weren't participating in an activity, they wouldn't have to enroll in the class. And so I could go on and on, or Melissa Savory again with our staff, who takes a lot of the calls, could probably go on and on. But let me tell you where I think the, um, the, the problem needs to be addressed. This is a little bit like a situation where there's not a, a ref on the field, there's not an official on the court. Um, and so you got everybody doing their own interpretation of what the rules are. And so right now you've got about 200 school districts that are out there, and they're kind of on their own to interpret this new law. And it is a good law, by the way. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this law. It's just that you have so many people trying to interpret it that we're ending up with a lot of different interpretations. Or my office, we're, we've been forced uh, to interpret the law back to the homeschoolers because they're asking us, they're saying, well, what does this law mean? Well, we think we have a pretty good handle on it. And, and so absent of there being any official interpretation from the Department of Education, uh, everybody has, like I said, we, we've sort of all been forced to interpret it. And I'm okay with interpreting it because I like my interpretation. <laughs> and, and I'm sure everybody else likes theirs too. Uh, and so it would just be like, again, like the, the opposing teams out there interpreting the rules. And so we just, uh, I would say, need some clarification on it. It is a good law. We did a good job with the law. We just need somebody 